Welcome to another episode of New OB and today we're going to be talking about Dragon Quest Builders. So let's go ahead and take a look at these four different pictures. As you can see there are a couple of different monsters running around and this entire world is actually made up of blocks. You can build your own city if you really want to. This purple guy is the main bad guy from Dragon Quest 1 and once again he has returned in Dragon Quest Builders. Here are a bunch of people excited about the game. This is me on a hoverboard. It has nothing to do with the game whatsoever. This is what Dragon Quest looked like back in the day. Collect, make and build. Finally we have some gameplay. So we have the main character running around with a little stick. You can see the world is pretty massive and the weather does change too. A little bit cloudy today. As you can see you can also jump in this game. Pretty amazing. You can break the ground and when the ground breaks you can actually pick it up. The ground then can be placed down wherever you want it to be. You can also break other things like sticks and use that to create your own tools. Do you see that little jumping rock? That is called a slime. Let's pull out a stick and destroy it. He will attempt to fight back even though he has no arms or legs. As you can see you are rewarded for all of your hard work. These flowers are not actually being destroyed but rather collected for use later on. Fighting is one versus one. As you can see the other slime does not come to his aid but we will teach him a lesson by destroying him for not helping. Remember to help your friends. If you feel like playing a game of tag, all you have to do is hit a slime and run away. It is also possible to make traps. All you do is hit the ground, make a hole and they will fall in and die. Nope, I was wrong. As you can see, there are other people in this game too. You can open doors and build houses. It gets dark at night, so putting down a fire will light up your house. There are also house plans to help you build a house more easily. If you don't know how to do it yourself, lay down this plan and it'll show you what the house should look like and then you can build it from there. It shows you what tools you need as well, so it'll make it a lot easier. Once you know what to do, you can start placing down the blocks. In no time at all, you will have finished half of your house. Then you can decorate it with tables, treasure chests and a fireplace. But we don't have fire. Just kidding, we do. And finally a door to keep other people out of the house because we do not want anyone going inside. She can try to enter but so much for the door. As you can see you can also create various items if you have the right materials. You can store extra items in chests. Here we have another little monster. Looks like a bat and a devil mixed together. But even though he has the ability to fly he will lose his battle. I will take the stick too. Thanks for watching this episode of New OB and don't forget to subscribe, comment and thumbs up. There will be some more gameplay coming very soon and I will explain more about the game. As you can see in this part, there is a little cave over there. Maybe you cannot see it properly because these trees are in the way but there, can you see it? There's some light coming.